Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be delving into the realm of massing in Autodex Revit. So I'm going to be using the massing interface of Revit to model an igloo. If you are not familiar with what an igloo is, it's kind of a residence used in the Arctic regions that is usually in a dome shape like as you can see on the screen. So we are going to be trying and modeling something similar in Autodex Revit using the massing interface. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this and without any further ado, let's jump right into the main content of this video. Alright, so firstly, we are going to start by opening a new Revit project. So to do that, we are simply going to click on new, we are going to click on this drop down icon and we are going to select metric multi discipline. So we are just going to click on it and we are going to click ok. So it's important to know that I am from a region in the world where they use the metric system. So if you use the imperial system, you can select the imperial multi discipline. Ok, so firstly, we have opened the Revit interface and we want to start touching some stuff before we start working. So we are going to go over to this broad project browser here and we are going to just minimize all the things we will not be using like this electrical, mechanical, plumbing, structural. So we are just going to be deleting all these sheets because honestly, they are just distracting to me. So I am just going to click on one of these sheets. I am going to hold shift key and select the last one to select all of them. Then I am simply going to click delete. Alright, so now before we start massing anything, you note that we will need to do a lot of line work. By line work, I mean we are going to be using the model lines. So to do that, we are going to go under this architecture. We are going to go to this model line. Then we are just going to use this circle tool and we are just going to draw our circle and we are going to draw a circle with the radius of 6 meter. Okay, before we move on further with the lines, we are going to adjust the levels. So we are going to go to this elevation. We are going to click on this elevation tab here. Click on East Elevation. And we are just going to adjust this level and we are going to adjust the height of this level to 6 meter. Alright, so that out of the way, we are going to go back to level 1 and we are going to continue our line work. So now we have drawn this circle. This circle is going to represent the circumference of our dome. So we are going to also sketch the entrance of our dome because once you are in the massing interface, you need to have a lot of reference points to sketch from. So we are just going to go to architecture. We are going to go to this model line. We are going to go over to this placement plane over here. We are going to click on this drop down icon and we are going to click on pick. So once we click on pick, we are just going to click pick a plane and we are going to click OK. So we are just going to hover and pick this reference plane here and we are going to click on it. It's going to ask us to go to a view and we are just going to select this elevation knot and we are going to click on this and click open view. So now we are in this elevation knot, we are going to start drawing this, the line. So we are just going to simply click on this, we are going to draw a line 1.2 meter from this. We are going to put it at 2.1 here. We are also going to do the same 1.2 meter here. You could mirror it if you want, it's still fine. I just want to sketch. And we're just going to use this arc line here and we're going to draw an arc dome here. So this is going to be the entrance of this massing. So we're just going to delete these two lines. All right, so now that is that out of the way, we're also going to do one more thing. We're just going to go over here and we're going to go to this model line again, architecture model line. And we're just going to draft an arc now. So we're going to click on this arc line. We're going to pick this point and we're going to hover around this other point. That is our model line we draw on the floor plan. Then we're just going to click on it and we're going to draw a perfect arc. Okay, so that's good and fine. We're now going to start the massing. So we're going to go to this level one and we're going to go to this massing in and site interface. So we're going to be using this in place massing. Okay, and it's going to show us mass one and we're going to click OK. Okay, so now we have opened this massing interface. You are going to be working with these two model, reference, and plane. So we're going to start from this model line. We're going to click on model. So under this model line, we're just going to click on set to pick a plane. We're going to pick pick plane. Then we're going to be picking this same reference plane. And we're just going to pick it, open the view. So we're going to start work here. So we're simply going to click on this select pick line tool here. We're going to pick this line we drew with the model lines. We're going to use this normal line tool. And we're just going to complete this and close this loop. And this is looking good. So we're just simply going to go to this reference line. And we're going to draw a straight reference line just a bit above this and we're going to click on escape then we're going to try and select the model lines first we're going to click on tab to select this model line we're going to hold control select this hold control select this hold control select this then create form so now we have successfully created our dome if you are not sure let's go to 3d and look at the dome we've created okay so now this is good the last thing we're going to do in this massing before we temporarily exit is, is we're going to create the opening for this massing so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this l1 again we're going to go to model and we're going to go to set we're going to click on pick work plane and we're just going to pick this reference plane and open view again so now we're going to go over to this visibility graphics option we're going to click on it and turn it to wireframe so now it's in wireframe, we're going to click on this model line, we're going to click on this pick line too. We're just going to pick here, pick here, pick here. Then we're just going to try and close this loop here. 
and close this here so we're going to, going to go to 3d now and we're just going to select this line here select this line here then we're going to click on this um, create void form drop down icon then we're just going to click on void form to create a void form okay so now our void form is created what we're simply going to do is we're going to click on this green arrow and we're just going to drag it to create an opening in this our dome then we're going to click on finish mass so another important thing in generally in revit project you should always click save to save your project save it in where you want to save it let me just call this attic and i'm just going to click on save and uh, so let's wait for it to save all right so now we've done this we're going to try and be creating our dome entrance because this dome without an entrance is still looking incomplete it still needs an entrance to shade people entering in all right so we're going to go back to this l1 we're going to go back to this massing and site we're going to go and create a new massing entire i'm going to say in place mass then i'm just going to open mass too and i'm going to click ok then now i'm just going to go to model and i'm going to click on set and I'm going to click on pick plane and I'm going to pick this plane and I'm going to open not view. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this model line. I'm going to use this pick line too. I'm going to pick here, pick here, pick here. Um, click on tab, pick here. Then I'm just going to use this trim tool. I'm going to go and use this offset tool here. Now I'm going to click on offset. I'm going to offset in 225. I'm going to offset this, offset this, offset this. Then I'm simply going to try and click on tab, click on this line. Then I'm just going to simply try and copy it. I'm going to click on this copy tool, copy this line here. Then I'm just going to simply go and click on this trim tool, trim here, here, and trim this line here. Okay. Then I'm just going to go to 3D now. So now I've drawn this profile, I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to click create form. So now I'm just going to drag out this form to about this height. So I think this is good. So now we've created this form we will now click on finish mass okay so now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be creating some cutting based patterns okay so you are going to see how i'm going to use this so i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to new under new i'm going to select family under this family i'm going to go to english metric all right so then i'm now going to select this metric panel pattern based and i'm going to click on it and i'm going to open this template so now i'm going to be creating a repetitive panel that is going to envelope the whole dome parametrically so wh what we're going to do is we're going to start from this reference and we're going to be placing some reference point so i'm just going to go over here click on this reference point and i'm going to click set so once i click on set i'm going to click set work plane then i'm going to go over over around this reference point that is already existing here and i'm going to pick on top of this plane you're going to see how it's going to highlight and click on it then i'm going to place this reference point i'm also going to do the same for here i'm going to click on set I'm going to click on set work plane pick it and pick the point set set work plane pick the plane pick the point set set work plane pick the plane pick the point all right so now this is done what we're going to do now is we're going to going to click on escape we're going to select everything go under filter under filter we're going to click on check none and we're just going to click on this reference point and click ok so what we're going to do now is we're now going to click on this offset and we're going to put the offset of two to five so that is the same thickness of a regular masonry wall or nine inches or whatever so we're not going to go to this reference and we're going to clear to a reference line now so we're just going to hover around the middle of this and we're going to hover around because now we want to give our dome some octagonal interesting character so what we're going to do is we're not going to click on this reference point here and we're going to hover around the middle and we're going to pick the middle so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on tab select this reference point now then we're going to go under these dimensions we're going to see this driven by hose checked on we're going to check it off so we're now going to move this singular central reference point here we can rotate it to this front view to get a proper view let's just increase it somewhere to around here i think here is okay so we don't want it to be too steep so i'm just going to click on this and i can delete this now so now i'm now going to go to this reference line and i'm going to click on reference line now so i'm going to be interconnecting everything i'm going to make sure everything interconnect so i'm going to start by drafting the reference line from this point to this point 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 okay let's go and click on reference line again you are going to make sure that this 3d snapping is checked on so you will not be confused while it's not clicking make sure you're in reference line and i'm going to be picking this okay and i'm going to pick this point pick this point so reference lines are highlighted with green white model lines are highlighted with black so now we have done with this box points we are going to make sure that we have interconnected everything and no reference line is missing or nothing that is not interconnected is missing so finally we are going to click on this reference line and we are going to now interconnect it with this central reference point going to interconnect it here we are going to interconnect it from this one to this one 
we're also going to interconnect it here okay now this is out of the way we have joined everything we've interconnected everything so we're going to click on this reference line we're going to click on this one we're going to click on this one then we're now going to click on create void form or create form sorry okay so now this form has been created we're not going to edit this form so we're just going to select the form overall the 3d mass and we're going to change the thickness the positive offset to 15 millimeters so it will be too thick 15. okay so now we have changed it we're not going to assign a new material so we're just going to quickly try and create a new material duplicate we're going to click on zero one block then we're just going to assign a new material i'm going to go under appearance i'm going to go to wall paint under wall paint i'm going to be looking for a very light blue color so i'm just going to be selecting this light blue steel and i'm going to click on graphics i'm going to make sure i set the graphics at use render appearance use render appearance click apply and click ok okay so we're just going to go over this graphics display option here and we're going to change the visual style to shaded so we're going to be repeating the same process for all these panels here and we're going to close everything and create panels all over so we're just going to quickly do that okay finally we are going to be rounding all, all this thing up by selecting this bottom reference lines and we're just going to select all of them create form then now we've created the form we're going to click on it change the value to 15 millimeters and we're going to apply the material and we're going to change it to block okay so now now we've created this cutting base panel we're now going to click on ctrl s to save it and we're just going to name this block okay so now we have saved this we're going to click save once we've saved this we're going to click on load into project and we're going to click on load into project okay so now we're going to go back to this 3d view and we're going to start editing this our dome again all right so now we've loaded it into the project now we're going to go over to this graphics display option let's change it to shade at first then we're going to change this to find details so now we're going to edit this our dome because it's far from the finished work so we're going to click on it we're going to click on edit in place so now we've clicked on edit in place we're going to click on this once we click on it we're going to go over to this divide surface tab and we're going to click on this divide surface so this is going to divide it into like a set of cotton panels okay so we're going to click on this we're also going to highlight this so once we've highlighted this we're now going to click on this no pattern tab here in this properties panel click on this drop down icon so once we click on this drop down icon we're now going to see this block we created this block panel we created so i'm just going to select it and it's going to take some time to process and let's wait for it all right so now the thing has created and we're just going to click on delete type for it to delete i'm just going to click on finish mass okay so as you can see you can see how this is parametric and how this looks good you can see how the panels are adjusted to the curve of this project so you can see how the massing interface can be versatile okay so now we're going to do the same for this dome entrance so we're just going to click on it and we're going to click edit in place so now what we're going to do is we're just first going to select the whole panel here okay, i'm just going to tab it once i select everything i'm going to click on divide surface so now i've clicked on divide surface i'm now just going to select everything now i'm going to select all the planes first okay so once i select these external planes i'm now going to change these external planes to click on this drop down icon and click on this block panels so it's also going to adapt to this entrance here so as you can see you can see how the spiky the entrance is looking which is looking cool and all so now we are just going to select this face here we're also going to select this face as well this interior face let me just try and bend it and see then i'm just going to try and select this interior face as well let me try and highlight it then once i highlight it i'm going to click on this drop down icon and i'm going to give it a brick pattern so let me just change it to one over two steps so i think this is looking good this is not looking bad so we're also going to try and do the same for this surface here so we're just going to click on tab and try and select the surface select this we're also going to select this as well hold control select this then we're going to click on this and we're going to change it to this to a one over two brick pattern so let's scroll up one over two step okay so this is looking much better so finally let's just select this face and select it okay i'm just click on it then i'm just going to change it so click on this drop down icon and i'm going to scroll up and change it to one over two brick step so as you can see we're just going to click on finish mask so we're going to see what we've done all right so as you can see you can see the whole massing you can see the entrance of this dome so i'm just going to go further and i'm going to go to this plan level and i'm going to take a nice perspective shot from here let's go to 3d view camera i'm going to change this offset value to 900 millimeter then i'm going to come from here let me come from here and take these shots here 
okay so as you can see this is looking cool and all so now we are just going to do some graphics display option just to spice it up a bit so firstly i'm going to go over here and i'm going to click on hide crop region then i'm just going to click this i'm going to change this to fine click on this and i'm going to change it to shaded then once i've clicked on shaded i'm going to click on this hide crop region then i'm now going to click on gd to, uh, to access the graphics display option so i'm going to turn on this smooth line with anti aliasing i'm going to turn on shadows cast shadows show ambient shadows i'm going to go over lightning uh, um, lighting and i'm going to click on this in sun session so i'm going to click on lighting here then i'm just going to click sun line from top to right and i'm going to click ok so now the light is out of view. I'm going to increase the sun exposure. I'm going to increase the ambient light. I'm going to reduce the shadows to about 20. Then I'm going to go to background and I'm going to click on this drop down and I'm going to select gradient. Then I'm going to click under the sky. I'm going to make it lighter towards the blue spectrum and make it as light as possible. So I'm going to click OK. Click apply. OK, let's just make the ground more snowy. Let's change it towards snow. Snow, snow blue. OK, I think this is OK. Click, uh, click apply and click OK. So as you can see, you can see how we've masked this cool dome and you can see how cool it's looking. We can still even bend it to get better shots of it. So this is looking cool and all. So let me just switch Ctrl Z. Okay, Ctrl Y. All right. So this is how this is just one step into the massing interface. You see the massing interface, once you master it, the more you master it and the more creative you are, you can model more complex things and you can use this for more of your parametric models where you need to create repetitive panels in like a complex project. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this. With that said and done, I'm going to wish you good luck to the next video. Thank you and have a nice day.